More Giants franchise, hoping this experience will be a lot better than the last one. The 38-7 against the Cowboys is, I mean, I think right up there with the least fun I've had the entire series. So hopefully that's not the case today against the Washington Commanders. They are 3-9. We are 2-9. Now, that being said, they are a significantly better team than we are. 85 defense to our 79. 81 offense to our 77. But the big thing is our 77 offense to their 85 defense in-game. I don't think it's going to go well. That pass rush is going to be wild. They have Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Chase Young, Montez Sweat. It's going to be a problem. So I don't know how we're going to move the ball in this game. It's going to be ugly. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to stop them a few times at least. We'll have to see. Playoff picture is finally being put together. And you guys are going to be shocked. We didn't make it. We're not in the picture at all. We're not in the hunt. We're not fighting to get in. We absolutely suck. Bengals, one seed in the AFC. Bucks, one seed in the NFC. Things obviously could and probably will change for not only the one seeds, but the rest of the playoffs as well. But we need something to change here. Two wins is simply not good enough at this point in the season. I'd like to at least get into that four or five range, which is kind of in a realistic range to where the Giants are in real life. I think they're probably four to seven or eight wins at the at the max. I think that's probably the range. And um, I'd like to at least get into that range here and finish with a few more than two or three wins in this season. This is a winnable game. We played this team twice in three weeks. This is the first of those two matchups. This is a game we need to win. But even if we don't, we are at least gaining information and we'll figure out how to beat this commander's team the next time around. But obviously, yeah, I'm looking to win. Our game plan, blitz counter. Hopefully, we slow their pass rush down at least a little bit. And then pass for two plus touchdown passes. That's reasonably doable. I know it wasn't last game. It was awful. But I think it's reasonably doable in this one. Uh, fatigue here, a little bit better. I guess we're gaining a lot of it back coming off the short week, which is really good. I probably need to make more of a focus, more of an emphasis on not going full pads every time. Just we get to this point and I forget. I just forget. But thankfully, we get a little bit back. Players are not going to be so fatigued as they were in that last game. And we do have an upgrade for Wandale Robinson. We'll go Playmaker. It's been showing a lot of upgrades for route running in general here. And we get a ton of them. Big time upgrades for Wandale. And I'm not sure that he's ever going to be a huge part of our receiving core, but as a fourth, fifth option at worst, I think would be pretty good. There is potential here. We just have to untap and unlock that potential. Carson Wentz having a decent season, just over 3,000 yards, passing 20 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. And it is truly a battle of the juggernauts at quarterback today. Carson Wentz versus Tyrod Taylor, both first year starters for their team. Obviously, Tyrod Taylor has come on as a starter or a little bit more of late, whereas Carson Wentz presumably has been the starter the entire year. But this is our first time playing the Commanders ever. Obviously in division, but yes, they were, you know, Washington football team. And before that, obviously another name. And now they are the Commanders. And I think I talked about this in a, in a recent video, so I'm not going to make the same joke again. But uh, yeah, man, it, it's an interesting kind of path they've been on. But um, yeah, it, tough season for Tyrod Taylor so far. Five touchdowns to eight interceptions. But I've been thinking about it, right? And this is kind of where I am with the interceptions thing. In Madden, any mistake is just going the other way. It's going to be an interception. So is there really that much of a difference between a punt and an interception any mistake is a pick it's never knocked down it's never just oh hitting the ground it it's always an interception so here's my thinking is it really that big of a deal if it's an interception over just a punt especially with our punter jamie gillen dude it's been like 20 or 30 yards of field positioning at the absolute most. It really hasn't been that big as this is a decent play to start the game for the Commanders. They'll get a 17-yard gain there to the tight end Logan Thomas, the converted quarterback. Of course, played quarterback at Virginia Tech as Carson Wentz will operate from the empty gun. Five wide for the Commanders. And that's going to be a throw over the deep middle and complete. 
Curtis Samuel. Huge gain down the middle. And already this commander's offense is looking fierce. Two plays, over 50 yards of offense. And we need to do something here. This has been a bad first minute of action. Get to the quarterback. We missed him, but it's cleaned up. That's why you send heat. Jared Wilson couldn't get to him. Aaron Robinson could. Second year player at a UCF comes in, makes a really nice play. And uh, Carson Wentz, I mean, look at the lat lateral movement there. How could anybody make that tackle one-on-one? -on -one? Wentz gonna throw, and that nearly intercepted by Wilson, fell right into his hands, ends up hitting the ground, and Washington will try a field goal. This is gonna be Joey Sly. I think it says Sly, and I think it, it also is Joey Sly who's the commander's kicker, and his kick is good. He's got a huge leg. He might even have 99 kick power in game as Heineke's the holder, and yes, it is Joey Sly whose kick goes right through the uprights, and the commanders will take a 3-0 lead, which I would settle for after seeing the first two plays. That's not really a terrible result. Play action. We're going to throw to Kenny Galladay for the first down. Way to sit down, find space, and we'll convert. I'd love to get Kadarius Tony running after the catch. I say this every single week as Daniel Bellinger will drag William Jackson for maybe an extra yard or two. He's a big tight end. You got to be able to go through a corner one-on-one. -on -one. That just has to be able to happen. Let's go to Saquon Barkley. Got decent blocks and Saquon will fall forward. Big gain by Barkley. A little dump off to Barkley. Tried to change direction. He put the football on the ground, but it, I'm not worried about it. Uh, he was definitely down, right? Pernell McPhee on the recovery, but it's not going to matter. That's going to get reviewed and overturned. We'll check it out. Yeah, I think that's going to be overturned for sure. Surely. This cannot be Washington ball. It's second and nine. We are back on offense. And I think this play is going to be effective. Kadarius Tony. Look at where they're lined up. We can get really, really creative here. And look at Kenny Galladay with the good runoff. Tony with the juke, and that'll be a first down. Is that a fumble? Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Montez Sweat recovers. He's going to house it. Every game takes more and more out of me. I'd like to be like Randy Marsh, be like, I didn't I didn't hear no bell as it's 40 to nothing. But man, I just don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. It just just popped out. And uh, it's gonna be 10 nothing commanders. So that's kind of a rough turnover to, to start our uh, our offensive experience. It's, <laughs> that's an odd way to phrase it, but yeah, dude. That sucked. That's really tough. Second and 11. Uh, that was also not good. We'll go underneath the Galladay. That'll work. Third and six. Nobody's on Kadarius Tony. Make the catch on the sideline. Stretch the ball over. Fourth and inches, it's not. We're going for it. And you know why? Because we're going to get... We're going to get... Uh, I was going to say Saquon back in the backfield, but they still have like four defensive linemen. We might actually have been better just uh, throwing the ball here. However, we can run away from their studs and get the first down with Saquon. That's a first down. That's easy. We're just going to Kenny Galladay. It's the Kenny Galladay show, and he's fumbled the ball. Uh, the show's been canceled, and Jamin Davis is going to take this all the way back. So two fumbles, two touchdowns for the Commanders. I didn't, I didn't hear no bell. I wish I did, dude. I wish I was saved by the bell. But here I am, and I'm looking like Screech. So it's a tough way to be down 17-0. I'm not going to lie to you. Don't really know uh, how much of this was avoidable. As we'll go ahead and check it down to Saquon Barkley, who's going to break a tackle. We actually had a big opportunity for, for a huge gain there. And that's actually probably, I would say, the best a screen has ever worked in Madden 23 for me so far. Also, Saquon just took a shot from Deron Payne. He just got shot out of a cannon. And uh, Kadarius Tony did not hear the play. Dude, it's a home game. You heard the play. Quick throw out to him. We just need some momentum back, man. It's intercepted. Yeah, that, that one I could see. Cam Curl, he was just crashing down on that. And, uh... Yeah, man, I just thought it was open. It wasn't. Let me hear the bell. 
Please, dude. I want to hear a bell. End it. Already. First quarter, I'm demoralized. Galladay. Just catch the ball. What do I have to do for that to happen? Third and three. There's Kadarius Tony. Nice conversion. And we are in midfield. Probably can't get a snap off here. That's the end of the first quarter. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know how we're down 24-0 right now. They have, what, three defensive touchdowns? One of them, my fault. Yeah. The other two, tough. They're tough. Okay, first and 10 from the 26. We're moving the ball down the field a little bit. Basically a run to Saquon. In fact, it might count as a run depending on... Yeah, it's going to. I was going to say depending on where that ball was uh, thrown and caught. Don't really get too many yards from it. Brings up second and 10, working off play action. We're going to try to throw that deep down the middle for Tony. He got the feed in. Touchdown. Good route from Kadarius Tony. I think we beat cover two there. Had to have been with where the safeties were playing. Tyrod Taylor throws a perfect pass right down the middle, right down Broadway. Safeties got turned around. And that's a beautiful play because Kenny Galladay distracted the safety uh, on that side. And I think Kadarius Tony got both feet down, meaning this should be a touchdown. This should stand if they review it. No review necessary. The wind is eight miles per hour, by the way, just dead north if this is a north end of the stadium. I don't know if it is or not. Top, I don't have a compass. This is not GeoGuessr, but I do GeoGuessr. GeoGuessr is on my third channel, Gene Dangus. And because you didn't ask, you're probably like, hey, Bengal, uh, are you any good at GeoGuessr? It's interesting that you mentioned that. It is on my third channel. Link is down below. We're going to find out if I'm any good. As we get a pretty rural round to start here. This is not really going to be a great representation. You know, I thought Bhutan. Did I say guest house? Um, do I just go Bhutan here? It just it just has a Bhutan vibe. I'm going to go for it. And um, probably just hedge the capital. And it ends up being Bhutan. So if you like that, you want to see more of that, that is on the third channel, which is linked down below. Uh, this... I would say it looks Japanese, but we have Korean, so it's not going to be. It's just going to be South Korea. And yeah, I know you, a lot of you probably don't care about this, but if you do, link is down below. Third channel, and uh, you get to see me 5K-ing this in Iceland, which I'm not actually not going to be able to. 5K is when you get it perfectly, but no moving. It's pretty difficult to do. You know what's funny is I actually think this fits like a lot. Uh, I'm not the best at pinpointing or anything, but I, I do think this actually looks pretty good. Uh, this actually fits a little bit better. I'm not going to 5k though. This is like, I'd say a pretty tough round to do it, but I'm going to guess there. I end up, I end up being unbelievably close though. Oh, that's so frustrating. That's, uh, that's a sick guess. I'm happy about it, but man, uh, I really had the right idea. I ended up switching over here. And uh, miss the 5K, obviously. But you guys get the point. I need, I need something to take my mind off of uh, <laughs> this game right now, dude. Uh, it is 24 to 7. Yeah, link is down in the description if you care about that. I explain rounds and uh, if you're interested in that game at all. Uh, it could be a fun spot to go as Wentz looks like he's going to take off here. Dude, take the football away. Please. Yeah, there was just too many guys to cover there. Too many players to cover, and uh, Terry McLaurin does get the first down. I'm going big, though. We need turnovers. We need to strip the football. We need big hit sticks. We need something to, you know, get us some momentum back here. And it just doesn't seem to be happening right now. We're going to go ahead and fake blitz with Dane Belton. Julian Love, who's back and healthy, just got pancaked. It's looking bad. Yeah, that's going to be a touchdown. Oh, it's not. No, yeah, it is. No, yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I can do there other than just get killed. We're only down 31-7 is, is what I would like to say. But yeah, we're we're down 31-7. It's, it's, it's over. Quick throw. Saquon just got destroyed. Say quick throw, short throw. Oh, no. That's intentional grounding. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's better than an interception, I guess, or a sack fumble. And we will not be converting on second and 20. Kenny Galladay didn't hear the play. Just run straight. He's not going to burn him anyway. Um, even if he does. Okay, that's... I thought he was coming across the middle there. 
Oh, he was supposed to. He just kind of stopped running when he caught the ball. Third and 14. That'll work. We're not going to convert here anyways. Tony with the catch. It's four down territory given the score. I think that much is obvious. Chase Young's in a wide nine. Really making me nervous here. Tony didn't really hear the play. A drag is fine. Tony was probably the most open. Galladay. Oh, go up and get it. Give me a break. Finally, we caught one. Tony ended up getting open, but I, I had seen it too late. Now I'm going to have to do this with Daniel Bellinger. This play is going to be so bad. Uh, so bad. Second and 14. Working off play action. Get it to Tony. He's open. Tony with the juke fooling nobody because that's my experience on Madden 23 so far. But it does bring up first and 10. We're knocking on the door. For some reason, I don't know why. I just feel like we're not out of this game yet. That seems crazy, right? But here we are, not out of this game yet, in my own mind. And sometimes that's all it takes. Second and eight. Give me a little magic here. Give me a little magic. Tony, one-on-one. -on -one. What do I have to do to make somebody miss in space? Is it even possible? This is the toughest player to tackle maybe in the entire league in the open field. Right up there at the top. Yet... In this game, I don't know if I've made somebody miss even once. Bellinger, up the middle, fight, get it, touchdown! All right. That's why I think we're back in this game. <laughs> we're only still down by a billion. That's got to be a play. Someone's got to make a play on that. I feel like Julian Love could have put his hands up and got the pick there. Nope. Wentz is going to throw to the sideline and complete to Logan Thomas. Throw it at me. When's going to go down? Is that Justin Ellis with the rare sack? Man, I can't even remember the last time that happened. Get me out of this. I keep accidentally calling man blitz because I think I'm in code suggestions. Uh, we'll just show him a dime look. And maybe with more DBs on the field, somebody will make a play. A little check down. You got to make a tackle, Aaron. Nope. Didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Timeout, Washington. We really needed to make that tackle. I missed. That's on me. Oh, it's a screen. Big Cat can't make the big tackle. Adoree Jackson attacked the kneecap, though. We're going to call a timeout. And I think Washington probably tries a field goal here. It's not like a super easy field goal. Makeable, sure. But from the 39, this is a 55-yarder. This is missable as well. Kick up. Hooking. Left. No good. And we'll get the football at about midfield here. And we will have a chance. 41 seconds. We need points here. Under every single circumstance, we need to come away with points. Third and eight. Oh, dude, I... Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> All right. Interception. Bobby McCain. Let me break this one down for you. So, I try to throw instantly to Kenny Galladay. Maybe it wasn't a good idea, but I tried to throw it instantly. He would not throw it. It's because he received the snap like this. I couldn't throw the ball. I pressed the button. Did not work. Uh, and then it just kind of came out anyway, and it was a lob to Tony. I think I was trying to throw it to Bellinger. I don't know what happened there. But that's very much not what I wanted to have happen. And so when I was stuttering like crazy there, it's literally because it, it, I could not throw the ball when I wanted to. And I was I unsure how to react in the moment. And now Washington, I guess, has a chance to score before the half. Washington is going to get in the field goal range here. And this is definitely drillable. And it does appear to have the accuracy, but not the distance. Very surprised to see Joey Sly missing that way. Uh, thankfully, the kick was no good. And we just prefer, uh, preserved the score going into the half. And we're going to run inside, I guess. Defend medium pass. They've really, they've hurt us in the intermediate areas of the field. Uh, and we will start with the football. We can make this a 10-point game with a touchdown. That's what we got to aim for. Wandale, give us a great return to start. Mm, weird. Oh, good block from Saquon? Mm, not really, actually. You got to hold that for more than like two seconds. Good throw to Bellinger. Just got to just gotta keep this momentum going. We're going to go hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, get some of this momentum back. We're just, we are mesh now. Mesh is the offense. 
Throw underneath. It's Kadarius Tony. Make him miss, please. Let me ask you guys. Real question. Real poll. Have you ever ha done a successful juke on all Madden in Madden 23? Has that ever happened? And I don't mean user juke like that where it's like he doesn't actually juke and make anybody miss with a hard plant. Is it possible? I don't think that it is. First and 10. I might throw to Kadarius Tony here. Kind of depends how this works. We shall see. They took it away. Can we get Tony up the field? That, that's good that that was incomplete. I know he was going to throw that to Cam Curl. Oh no, Matt Pert's in the game. That's bad. I'm going to throw it to him. Oh my god. It's Matt Pert, my right tackle. Or my backup right tackle. Obviously, we, uh, we got Evan Neal. Matt Breida into the game. Slayton's going to come in motion. A little play action. A lot going on here. Mm, I was I was something, huh? Third and six. I wanted to go to Tony. We're going to go to the running back, Saquon Barkley, first down. Okay, we're actually going to do a little play action here. A little check down. Ricky Seals Jones. Oh, we got him turned around. Second and three. Again, quick throw. It's the seal. Kiss from a rose. And we found the end zone. There's nothing there. Uh, but Ricky Seals Jones is doing backflips. Oh my God. Okay, that's gotta be a momentum. Huge gain for us. It has to be. After doing a, seeing him do a freaking gymnastics routine in the end zone, surely we gotta have momentum. That was a long drive too. That was really good. Play action. Oh, and down goes Wentz. It's Aziz Ojolari for the first time today. We needed that. We needed that. Aziz Ojolari gets home, unblocked off the edge. It was the only way we'd ever get pressure. Okay, we're actually gonna blitz here. Wentz, quick throw, and it's intercepted by big play, Tornay! Wentz doing his best Bengal impression, trying to throw the game away. Darnay Holmes. Yeah, you guys have noticed in the comments section, he's played well. He's had some big turnovers, which kind of offsets all the yards he's allowing. <laughs> That's a really nice play though. That, that should not really be an interceptable ball, yet uh, it is, thankfully. Darnay reads it really well, makes a nice play, and uh, I mean, we really are back in this game. Okay, we can definitely settle for a field goal here. We just can't turn over the ball, and now that's not even in play. Kadarius Tony first down, and we're getting back in this game. I've, I've thrown the ball, I feel like, really well this game. I know I have a couple of interceptions, and I know 13 passes have been caught by Kadarius Tony. He is the offense right now. Little cutback, Saquon. We're looking to find the end zone here. Touchdown would be greatly appreciated. If we could if we could figure out a way to do that, I would be in favor. Second and goal. The seal in motion. The Barkley with the carry and the touchdown. Saquon Barkley is an end zone machine at this point. And unbelievably so, we have got back in this game. We've played awesome football here in the second half. We really have. they a run. Take Crowder, track it down. Nope, nope. Oh, and Julian Love is being outrun by Antonio Gibson. Tell me they held. Tell me it's coming back. Are we actually getting luck going our way now? It is a hold. Dude, tell me that's not a pick if I'm doing that BS that Carson Wentz is trying to pull right now. Uh, it's third and three. I don't really think we're going to be very successful here. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. When's gonna take off, throw on the run, and complete to Curtis Samuel. Do you see what's happening? Are you looking at this? Open your eyes. Throw underneath. Oh, that cannot ever be a completion, dude. Oh my goodness, this offense. Logan Thomas with the catch. I'm doing everything I can. I'm forcing the ball out quickly, and Wentz is just running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Sorry, PETA, if you hear that. And, uh, no, I'm not. Fuck you. I'm just sorry. <laughs> uh, man. And, uh, he's just making stuff happen against the Blitz. We should be blitzing him successfully. But instead, he's just figuring out a way to be great. And I don't like it. We can't run with that. Get the ball out. Please. Oh, no. Dude, look at Carson Wentz. Darnay Holmes needs to make a big play. And he took out the knees of Antonio Gibson. That saves a touchdown. Big play, Darnay, with a huge TFL. I mean, I cannot overstate how big of a play that is. 
We're actually going to get out of this. We're going to go cover two. And we're hopefully going to force a Carson Wentz mistake. He's going to take off. <sighs> if you let me hit stick you. Oh, Leonard Williams not just jump off sides. I'd need that to be a false start. False start. All right. That's actually really, really, really good for us. That's going to make this a lot tougher to convert here. And on third and 12, we could use... We could use just anything short. That'll work. That'll work. Field goal. We'll extend this Washington lead. However, it is still only one possession. So we just need to find the end zone. It is a fourth quarter, but the score is in a position where we really don't have to get over aggressive if we don't want to. As Ricky Seals Jones, if you win this, you, I'm spamming A. Please win the tackle battle, Ricky. Third and seven. Well, now we're going to have to get a little bit more aggressive. Potentially four down territory. Really do not want to throw an interception here. Get it to Bellinger. Oh my goodness, that's a great throw under pressure, but Bellinger came back and didn't get the first down. We are going to go for it here. Fourth and inches. QB sneak. It's the Tom Brady special from Tyrod Taylor. First down. Third and six. Yeah, that is a... Uh... That's just a case of being a little bit too conservative, but I didn't see much down the field. We are going to go for it here. I'm honestly just hoping to fool him off play action here on fourth and four. Throw underneath. Tony, come back to the football. Let's go. Okay, that was dangerous. Good throw from Tyrod. That was super important. I want to run the ball. I swear I just called inside zone and we're in five wide, so something didn't happen that I thought was going to happen. That's clear. Working off play action, faking the inside zone. We're actually going to get it to Barkley anyway, though. Nice catch, and that should be a first down. First and 10. Just follow that hole. Here we go. Follow that hole. That's not exactly right. But go through the hole. Second and four. Play action. Kadarius Tony's open. Go over him. Oh, I tried to hurdle. What am I doing? Why am I getting this crazy? This is actually a winnable game. You're going to strip ball aggressive. You do not fumble. Do not fumble. Do not fumble. Saquon! Just shy. They're giving Saquon the touchdown here. Saquon Barkley, touchdown, and we have tied it. Extra point gives us the lead with four and a half minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. We have maybe completed the most improbable comeback of the series. Things were looking grim. Yet it is somehow potentially going to be a New York Giants lead. Kick up and good. And just for all the doubters out there, check this out. Still, all Madden trash difficulty. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Danny Johnson down the field. Wilson trying to save a touchdown. We knocked him out. All right, so Washington almost assuredly is gonna end up taking the lead here. This is not the worst thing though. Because of the clock, this makes it so they can not just chew it all. So we gotta take a positive out of this. Get out there, McFadden, nice tackle, it's been a while. They bring JD McKiss, a receiving back into the game for a critical second down run. They don't get it. Third and eight. Force him to make a throw. Nope, we filled the gap perfectly. Tay Crowder, awesome tackle. We're going to have plenty of time. The question is whether we can actually complete the comeback again. Because we're going to have one final drive to win it. It's going to be 37-35. to 35. Field goal wins the game. From the 25, 3 minutes and 11 seconds will decide the game. Hopefully our offense can do something. We're going to go to Tony in the flat. He's having an incredible game. He's actually just made somebody miss there. Tyrod Taylor, 345 yards passing. I believe three touchdowns. Does have two interceptions. Actually, yeah, we're going to run right at him. Let's go, Saquon. Let's go, Saquon. Big run. Would love to get rid of these, uh, these timeouts for sure. I'd love to get rid of these timeouts. We were going to always throw that short to Tony. He is the offense right now. They're going for the football. If we fumble, I'm going to cry. I will literally cry. And if you think that's too much, 
Man, you're not even a football guy. You don't love the game like I do. Kenny Galladay working underneath. That's a big shot. And there is an injury timeout. That's actually going to take away one of our timeouts. Nick Gates is down. Honestly, better center in right now. And John Feliciano, just a little bit older. We've been going with the younger guy, Nick Gates. Saquon looking for space. Doesn't find a ton. Washington will call a timeout. That's what we want. We want them to call timeouts. Feliciano stays in. Sorry, Gates. We're going to run the ball with Saquon. Third and one. If this is your guy, he just got a contract extension. He's got to be able to convert here, and he does, despite a great shed by the Washington defensive lineman. I think that was Deron Payne, ready to bring the pain, yet he is wrong about that. That's nah, not good. That's not especially good, is it? Uh, but that, that does work out pretty well. We are into field goal range. I don't want to get iced. Saquon, broken tackle. They might even try and let us score. That's their final timeout. They can no longer ice us. Third and inches. We're going to go ahead and snap the ball at 40 seconds because that way, even if they make a play here and set up fourth and whatever, that way there will be no time for a kickoff return touchdown as we can kick a field goal as time expires. So we're going to go ahead and snap this ball. And it doesn't even matter. Saquon up the gut. Big time run. Big time first down. And that could be the dagger here in New Jersey. Okay, they're going with a billion defensive linemen. Will it matter? Okay, it's a good play. We'll call a timeout. Second and goal. Saquon with space, and he finds the end zone. 41-37 Giants, and Barkley with his third touchdown of the game. And with just 10 seconds to play, the Giants have done the impossible. Big Blue with the big comeback, and presumably the big win. Now it is 41-37. Hold on. We're gonna call a timeout. We're going for two. The reason we go for two here, it makes it, if we get it, obviously, and it's already a four point lead, so a field goal would do nothing for Washington, but it would make it 43-37. So even if Washington ends up scoring, which they might, as Saquon does get it, there is still a chance that we can block an extra point and not lose the game. So I'm really going above and beyond on this one. The wind's going against us, because I'm absolutely so afraid of a kickoff return here, we've seen it already. Are we gonna go ahead and squib it? We're gonna go and squib it. And uh, avoid the return. He just caught it with one hand like it was nothing. Oh my God. Wentz will lob it deep. Could be the final play of the game. It's incomplete, but there remains a second on the clock. One single second on the clock. Final play of the game. Does Wentz have some magic? He'll throw on the run. There is a flag. It's intercepted by Jared Wilson. But we'll have to see what this laundry is on the field. This penalty could loom large. It cannot be roughing the passer in this spot. It's the rookie, Kayvon Thibodeau. You have to be kidding me, dude. I know how this goes. I know how it goes. This isn't happening. This isn't happening, man. Final play of the game. Wentz is in Hail Mary range. He'll lob to the end zone. You have got to be kidding me. Get the ball down. Yeah, that's rough. I mean, you can't make this shit up. You can't. Um, I thought we played a pretty good game. Kadarius Tony had 192 yards and a touchdown. Uh, 
Um, yeah, man. Yeah, that was a game, huh? I... I don't even know what to tell you. What do I do to avoid that? I mean, I, I, you know what it was is I, uh, I scored with, with time on the clock. <laughs> Bengal, you should have just kneaded out and kicked a field goal that I would have missed somehow. The Kayvon Thibodeau roughing the passer. I mean, somehow this gets in the hands of a Washington commander and then falls right in the lap of Curtis Samuel. It's just, it's just insane. Hey, Josh Azudu with an upgrade. Sweet. It's what you like to see. That's, uh, that's something. We're two and ten. Uh, we'll face the Eagles in week 14. Oh, but maybe a Kadarius Tony breakout challenge against the 86 overall Eagles. I'm sure that's going to go well. Um, yeah, the standings here. Bucks are 11 and 1. Seahawks are 1 and 11. We're 2 and 10, as are the 49ers. I'm going to bed. It's 2.37 in the morning. And uh, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't, I don't mean on, I don't want to be here anymore, dude. I'll see you in the next one, or maybe I won't. Take it easy.